<laughs> Next guest in line right over here. Christmas time at a mall can be a daunting bonanza. Navigating the sales, the discounts, the price cuts. But the economy is still shaky, and shoppers need to be careful not to overdo it this holiday season. So who's looking out for the consumer? Should we see what kind of financial advice these people in Florida need? We're going to do that right now. We set up a makeshift booth at Town Center Mall in Boca Raton, Florida, and let Susie Orman loose. Yeah! And tonight, our gift to you, Susie Orman's rules for holiday spending. First off, sometimes Susie is amazed at what people spend their money on. $500 a year you spend on clothes for your doggie? Can we make a pact? Can, let's just make a pact. Okay. That from this day forward, mm. you are going to say, denied. Try it with me. Denied. 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 You are not going to buy your little okay. doggy any more clothes okay. because you have credit card debt. Okay, I will. You promise, promise me that? Promise. Promise. Lucy, we're going to have a talk. A teacup. Lucy, you have to listen to me. Mama loves you very much. And she loves you so much, she's not going to be buying you any more clothes, okay? So if some people are spending money, how are they spending it? And what are they spending it on? So let me ask you, did you pay cash or put this on a credit card? On a credit card. Which credit card? My Old Navy. First rule, believe it or not, the credit card is important. Lately, Susie's been pushing a credit card revolt, and that's changed her rules. With major banks raising some credit card rates to nearly 30 percent, she suggests taking a stand by replacing your bank card with a cheaper store card or ditching your bank altogether and joining your local credit union. This Are you going to pay it off in full at the yes. end of the month? Oh, yes. You did great then. Sounds like you're waging war on these banks. I've been waging war on these banks at a time when good people need the help of these financial institutions. Not all, but many of the financial institutions are saying, sorry, closed for your business. It's not right, Vicki. Walking around the mall, Susie is in her element. You, my Hi. wife loves you, by the way. She Angela, what about you? you? What are you doing when she's watching me? Dispensing advice to anyone and everyone. Uh-oh, we've got Ooh, some more shopping. Shop. What constitutes a good shopper? <laughs> I got my $10 points. Yes. So I got a bra for $5. Good. Ah, so we need that. We need a little lift. And if I spend 50 at Clinique, I got two free gifts. Were you intending to spend $50 at Clinique? No. Getting sucked in by promotions drives Susie crazy. So her next rule, resist temptation. Write down what you need. Write it down on a piece of paper. That is your shopping list. Why are you coming to the mall? You need to think about it before you go. Hi. Hi, Susie. How are you? Good, and you? Very good. What is your name? You. Next up is Ira. Ira. Ira is 59, recently engaged, and wants to know if he should give in to his fiance's request for a $50,000 dream wedding. Uh, Did you get her pregnant? Just no. joking. No. His question is almost guaranteed to generate a Susie Smackdown. I just have a question regarding the fact that I've been living with a gal for 20 years. I'm engaged to her. How long have you been engaged? A couple of months. Okay. Great. My question is, is that I really would prefer a small, intimate wedding. Yes. And she wants this big fairy tale wedding. Does that make you question your decision to want to marry her? Yes, it does. It does, doesn't it? Definitely it definitely does. All right. Did you all hear that? Ah, uh -huh. you all listen very closely now. That is an indication that you need to think about this. I don't believe in wasting fifty to sixty thousand dollars in then, four hours. Then guess what? I'm right there with you. Always have been. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. Whoa. So who's going to win this argument? It's not a matter of it's affecting yeah. our relationship, and now we're talking about not getting married. Uh oh. All right. So will she listen to Susie's advice? I have no idea. We will stay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Susie's on the prowl, taking the pulse of consumer demand. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Notice everybody, two women who are financially independent, and what are they doing? They are leaving without one bag. So are people being financially responsible this season? 
Has the recession affected holiday spending? And you Wait, have more shopping bags than anybody I have seen yet today. Oh, I think the mood this year is more upbeat than last year. It seems like our shoppers are out there enjoying um, the markets coming back a little bit. It gives people a little bit more sense of security. People sound smarter, though. They sound more cautious. They sound smarter, though. I got that feeling. They sound more realistic. Nobody's doing great, and nobody feels good, and everybody's lost money, and everybody's underwater. There's almost pride in being able to say now, yeah, I'm in debt. Yeah, I don't have any money. Yeah, I'm just like everybody now. Spending responsibly is the key, which leads to Susie's next rule. Sometimes you can afford it, like in the case of Summer Rodriguez, who's graduating from college next month. I'm looking for a dress for graduation, and it's so hard to come here and not go crazy and take my credit card and just buy stuff. Because okay. I do need a dress. All right, so you need a dress, but do you need jewelry to go with the dress? No, not necessarily. Then we're not buying jewelry today. I do need shoes. All right, so we need shoes and we need a dress. So what are we buying today? Shoes and a dress. All right, we're going to look at other things and we're going to say no. Not shoes and not a dress. So Summer has permission to give herself a gift back at the booth. Vicki Randolph has driven three hours with her sister Melanie, seeking advice during the roughest time of her life. Just legally separated. I lost my job in February, and I have. What is the greatest gift you could give yourself? What would the greatest gift be that you peace. could give your peace? And what would that peace look like? Probably a job. A job? Yes. A job's going to give you independence. A job's going to be a gift to you because you then don't need a husband to support you exactly. anymore. So for the holiday season, you want to give yourself the gift of independence and be loved by yourself for the first time in a long time. Is that right? Exactly. Time will heal this. You have nothing to worry about. So these are gifts that we all have to learn during this holiday season to take advantage of. The gift of independence, of knowing who you are, regardless of what you have around you. Defining the things around you versus letting those things around you define you. Which is the ultimate Susie gift this season. Here's the main message. When do you buy what you need versus what you can afford if we just turn into a society that buys what we need, regardless of what we can afford, we will get on the right path and give ourselves the greatest gift of all, the gift of financial independence. Now that's a gift that can last a lifetime. This is Vicki Mabry for Nightline in Boca Raton, Florida.